Uh oh. Ah, what do we got here? See what we got. All right. Nice, nice, nice. So today we're bluegill fishing. Right now, I just caught this nice bluegill right here. Look at that. Caught him on a beetle spin, a modified beetle spin. Look at that. Wow. Just beautiful, beautiful colors. And that face. Man, that's just awesome. All right. Woo. Good things on the hook. So I'm modifying the beetle spin. As you can see here, this is a standard beetle spin right here with the regular body. And I'm taking these bodies off and I'm putting on a crappy slider right here. So this is what I'm using. So the way I rig it up, this is two inches long right here. So I take about a quarter inch off the top. Take off about a quarter inch. I take my little jig head and I go ahead and put it through just like that. So now the body, had, the body has a little swim tail on the back. And I'll tell you what, this method right here catches bluegill. All right, so let's go ahead and let's catch some more. Oh, oh, ah, little bass. Uh oh, got another fish. All right, nice, nice. Check this out, beautiful fish right here. Hand size, nice, man. That is just a gorgeous, gorgeous fish right here. Beautiful. Ooh. All right, go ahead and uh, Go ahead and let him go. Uh oh, here we go. What do we got here? All right, nice bluegill, nice bluegill. Look at this chunky guy. Nice. All right, look at this chunky guy right here. Beautiful, beautiful bluegill. This is a spawning fish. So let's go ahead and let him go. Get him back in the water. Uh-oh. What is this right here? Ah, I got a bass. Here we go. Nice. Like I said, with a beetle span, you can catch pretty much anything that these minnows. This is a great example right here. Nice, nice little bass. I'll tell you what, he pulled hard on the small rod. There you go. Let's go ahead and let him go. So what I'm doing with a beetle spin, I'm basically casting parallel to the cover, all right? So I'm in a little canal. The canal is probably seven foot deep and I'm fishing in between one to two foot of water off the edge of, of the canal. The bluegill are bedding right now. Looks like it looks like they're bedding. I see a lot of tilapia also. And this, is, this is Florida, so there's a lot of tilapia in the water bedding. But the bluegill are also bedding close to the tilapia. And I'm taking that beetle spin and I'm just going parallel to the grass line and those and the fish are just boom, just knocking out that little spinner that's in the back. So let's go ahead and uh, let's catch some more. Let's uh, let's try white. Let's go ahead and get white a shot. Uh oh. Oh, guys, got a nice fish here. Ah, see what we got here. Woo, nice bass. Nice bass. Nice fish right here, guys. Here we go. Look at that. Here we go. Check this out. Woo, right on top of that mouth. Beautiful fish. And that's with a new color right here. We went to the white body. All right, let's go ahead and let him go. Another nice, another nice fish. All right, here we go. Nice, nice bluegill. 
All right. Check this guy out. <laughs> nice, nice, nice fish. Oop, I have a headache. Big old bluegill, hand size. This is a great eating fish too. And it's great, it's great. I mean, they're fun to catch, but they're also, also great to eat. So uh, another nice, another nice uh, bluegill right here. So let's let her go. So what kind of setup do you use to catch bass and bluegill with a beetle spin? I like using a small spin reel like this one right here. I use eight pound test line and I got a six foot six medium pole right here. And it's, it's got a very light tip and it's very easy to throw or cast a beetle spin with this setup right here. I use eight pound test line because sometimes you will catch a big, big bass with a beetle spin. You want to make sure your line can hold it up, can hold a big fish. So, hey, that's the setup. Let's catch some more. Got another one. Little guy. That's a better fish right there. That's definitely a better fish. Definitely a better fish. Look at that big old bluegill. Wow. That's a nice one. This is a nice fish right here. Check him out. Whew. Big old blue yellow. All right, so a good size beetle spin for you to try in your local waters to catch bluegill and bass is a 1 seconds and a 1 8 ounce right here. So these are two general sizes to try out. Try that modification right here. This really, really catches fish. And look, don't feel bad if you go to the, to the store and buy a dollar beetle spin and start catching fish when everybody else has got all these expensive lures and they can't catch anything. Look, enjoy yourself out there. I had a great time. Hope you enjoyed watching and I'll catch you on the next one.